before we move on now to the very special presentation of a Lifetime Achievement Award. For over 44 years now, Usha Utup has sung and performed in more than 16 Indian languages. She lives as she believes, projecting the fact that India is a true melting pot of world cultures with its own distinctive cultural identity. The daughter of a policeman who rose to become Deputy Commissioner of Police, Bombay, she has recorded more than 100 albums, sung in several thousand concerts, and has been on television since its inception in India. Her father-in-law, Brigadier C.C. Uttap of the Sikh Regiment, received the prestigious AVSM Award from President V.V. Giri in 1973, and we are so, so excited that she could be with us here this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Usha Uttap. Can we give her a big, big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Can we give her a standing ovation? Hi everybody. Namaskar, namaskaram, satsri kal, salam alaikum. Please sit. I'm already so overwhelmed. Really marvelous. Thank you, Renuka. We can still continue with the applause, ladies and gentlemen. Feel free. All right, so now we are going to have a very interesting talk between Dr. Renuka and Usha Utup. We're very excited about that. There's also a book that's about to be released, we hear. So gentlemen, we'll have you all have a special seat in the front row while the ladies take the stage. So we'll have you all, indeed. And I'm going to hand the stage over to Dr. Renuka. We'll just take a few moments to set the stage. And we're really looking forward to a very, very exciting co conversation and the book as well. So ma'am, you can have a seat. Hi everybody. As I said, no I didn't say, I was saying it from there. It's not 44, it's 54 years that I've been singing. And makes me feel so good to be able to say it to all of you, especially today, that uh, I actually started singing in Madras. I think we need a big applause for that. Because uh, sure. most people would think that in Tamil Nadu, that especially in Madras, especially the kind of family I come from, would be the most conservative. And how could a girl looking like me in a sari, I mean, looking like this, just a couple of kilos extra here and there, mostly there, and uh, yeah, it's really strange, but I did start over here. Yeah, and of course, lots of gray hair as well. And uh, it's just amazing how every time anybody calls me to Chennai, I, I keep thinking, first of all, Chennai, then it's Madras, yeah. For me, it will always be Madras, ladies and gentlemen, always. And for me, it will always be a place where I began my career. Actually, so many people, all my relatives, everybody lives here. And uh, for me, it's really an amazing moment to receive this award. Thank you ever so much for this, really. I did so want, it, want everybody to be here. Some people have left already for whatever reason. But let me tell you, for me, just even one person is enough. But I'm a people person, and I need people. I need you, I can't do without you. 54 years without my audiences would have been impossible. But when do you like my sari? Yeah. And this is where I started in a sari with flowers and mali, malipu in my hair. And um, one puttu, of course the puttu keeps changing size and you can talk about that. Now that we've got everything set. Oh, lucky we don't have the ticker going over here because 
I certainly hope none of you are in a hurry because I came here all the way from Calcutta to have a really marvelous time with all of you. Yeah. <laughs> and I was also scared that sure. maybe in all this talk and all the conversation, you spoke so well. <sighs> Your wife didn't come with you. Oh, so I can say a lot more things. Yeah. I'm sure all the ladies just love you. We do. Actually, no. And I'm sure she would be so proud. So proud to know that. As I've always said, women are women's best friend. Really. And I think women make wonderful friends. That's why when I started singing, you will start asking me the questions. Go ahead. Can I? Of course, of course. Thank you so much, Usha. Look at her, isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> Don't yell at me now. Yesterday I had enough yelling from you. No, I didn't. I didn't. Tell them why then. No. No, I'm not. Good. I'm not going to tell them. Hello, where are you going? In the green sari? <laughs> no, 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 we can't leave you. Where? You're coming back. But how will you hear all that we're going to talk? You can't walk out like that, sir. <laughs> Okay, we love you. Come back soon. So, um, yeah, first of all, Ushadi, you have no idea. It's such a proud and privileged moment for me to be sitting here in conversation with you. You've come all the way from Calcutta to be with us. It's such a huge honor. And uh, I have, you know, been listening to your songs, dancing to your tunes, and... Um, it's beautiful. I mean, we are so blessed to have you with us today. Thank you. I think she deserves a huge round of applause. Huge. We are, she's a singing legend from Madras. And she'll always be, though she belongs to the four, she likes to be surrounded by sea. So it's like she's born in uh, Mumbai, where there was sea. Her maternal uh, family was in Chennai, again sea. Then her in-laws were in Kerala, again sea, and then she decided to get married from someone from Calcutta, again surrounded by sea. So she is a very sea-oriented person, but I think we will always claim her to be us. Yes, I think uh, it makes it, it makes more sense that way because uh, you know whenever wherever I go, if they find uh, they, there are people in the audience who don't know about me, हमेशा लोग कहते हैं ये देखिए मद्रासी आ गई है, and it's so strange. Anything in those days, anything south of the Vindhyas was Madrasi. You know, you could be from Kerala or you from Andhra Pradesh or Karnataka, but if you were south of the Vindhyas. You were Madrasi. And yes, it's true. I feel so proud. As I say, always I like to be, um, you know, told or when I say to everyone, we are citizens of the world, basically. But in the larger picture, when we finally say, come down to roots, it's great to say, hey, thanks for being born in India. And thank you, God, for the sari and for all that you've given me, really. Absolutely. So, uh, Usha, uh, Usha the, now I wanted, uh, I just wanted to tell my lovely audience that there's this beautiful book. This is her autobiography called The Queen of Indian Pop. And uh, this is actually uh, written biography. by, yeah, it's not, yeah, it's written by Vikas Kumarja. So That's it's right. It was written in Hindi first. In Hindi and translated by Shishti Jha. Mm -hmm. So, I was fortunate to get my hands on the book and I read it because I knew I had to be accurate. And uh, so I'm uh, based on the book, Ushadi, I'm going to ask you some questions. Page number three tells me you learned the value of hard work very early and earning money. You used to polish the metal and shoes that belonged to your father even as a child. Can you tell us how this began and how it has helped you through life? Oh God, how did it be <laughs> become? Mm -hmm. It's just fantastic, you know, because coming from a middle class family, uh, my father, we, we had uh, six children, and uh, they say that uh, number five is very lucky, but many people say that I was a mistake. Because uh, Appa and Amma had Indira, then they said, well, they must have one more. So they had another one called Uma, and then they, had, uh, they said, we must have a boy, and so they had Sham, Sham, and then they had another boy to keep him company, and that was Babu. And then came I. 
a mistake. <laughs> And then after myself, another planned one, Maya. So I come from a very middle class family where we didn't have much uh, money. And you know, I guess. Um, we led a very frugal life. I'm sure all of you have come from that kind of background, or you know that background for sure, where we wore two pairs of uniform, and you know we had only two pairs of shoes. In those days, there, there was only Bata and Corona, I think. Corona is a bad word anyway. But there was a shoe company that was like that. And we all wore just Bata shoes. I mean, today it's just strange, isn't it, how children want so much. They want everything matching. They've got Reebok, they've got uh, all, all the big names, Nike, you name it. And they want different, different kind of shoes. Well, we were born and we were quite happy. But my daughter said, Amma, that was then and this is now. And that's so true. Actually, if we give the right signals out to our children, I think they'd be very, very happy. Instead of saying that, oh, we had only so much. Too bad that we had only so much, but too good. Because it taught us and gave us wonderful, wonderful values in life. So this thing about polishing my uh, father's medals and his shoes, my appa always told me, if you got eight annas pocket money, eight annas was... Uh, I, I was sad that I got eight annas sometimes because I was always eating junk on the road with that money after school. And uh, the eight annas didn't last us very long, actually. But he always told me, if you want anything more, even one naya paisa more, you have to earn it. So I would polish his shoes. I would also polish his medals. And I'm very good at it, actually. I learned very early in life how to put a newspaper around the button, around the brass button. So ladies, if you don't know how to do your husband's uh, uh, jacket and uh, you know the blazer buttons, you put a little newspaper, cut a hole, and then start polishing. Right, General? Yeah. So I learned very early in life that you don't get money easy. You've got to really work hard for it. And the harder you work for it, the better. Hi, I'm so glad you came back. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah. So that's how it started for me, learning to earn my own money and learning the value of the money that you earn. And it's really not uh, the money finally that uh, gets you everything. I think it's the hard work and the dedication. And when you say that, you know, I, I've been singing for such a long time, I think one of the basic things, the why I'm still around, is uh, of course besides being Indian and besides being uh, Bharatiya, it's the sari. And besides that, I think somewhere down the line, I inspire fidelity. There are people who look at me now and say, "Oh my God, we used to hold hands when we used to listen to you sing," and they say now our grandchildren holding hands and, uh, you know, still listening to me sing in my music. So what could be a bigger blessing than that, really? To stick around, to getting there is something, but to be there still. Ushadi, page 9 says, one evening in June 1967, you went to the nightclub Nine Gems in Mount Road, Chennai, Madras those days, dressed in your sari and sindoor and bangles, singing an English song. And then, whoosh, something happened. Yes. I think you have to tell the audience what happened. You just went there to enjoy the music. Yes, but it's so strange, isn't it? I believe there is no uh, multi... Now, now we call it multiplex. In those days, it was just a, a building with three theatres. There was a Blue Diamond, there was Sapphire, and there was uh, Emerald. And below there, do you, any of you remember Madras in those days or Mount Road? Yes. And in the basement, there was a little place called Nine Gems. Angavandha, my aunt was the director of tourism at that time and Mrs. Nathan. And she took us out for a treat. I mean, even though I was born and brought up in Bombay, we had a very sheltered life, let me tell you. As I keep saying over and over again, middle, middle class upbringing. And... Uh, it was a thrill for me to come to a nightclub, that too in Madras, and be with, you know, and see the ba I mean, the nightclub with a band, and oh, there was that lovely girl who was also singing over there, you know, the one who really should look something like your body, yeah, you know, not looking like me, but still, when my aunt said, "Why don't you get up and sing?" I said, "Okay, 
and I got up. I'm one great one for a for a challenge or for making people happy or just getting a smile out of everybody's face. And I started singing with the band, and that's exactly how it started. So nobody ever imagined that somebody looking at like me would sing a song like, Never know how much I love you. You never know how much I can. When you touch, you give them a fever. You give them a fever, but so hard to bear. Pa, a pretty So that's how it started. Then page tell, uh, 10 tells me you got married at the age of 18, and I think that was to your own sister's husband's brother. That's right. That's right. And see, I, I do my homework very diligently. So well, so well. So did that ever stop you from following your dreams? I mean, getting married at 18, you were wanting to sing, and that point of view, did you feel contained? No, really. I think the timing for me was really right, and God was really kind. Really, uh, there was no struggle, shall I say. I mean, it's just like any other lady, uh, any working mother or anybody else who's got a job and has to manage this and manage that. It, uh, it takes a lot out of you, but let me tell you, I never planned to be a singer. I never thought this would be my, uh, you know, career or I'm going, to, I'm going to become a big singer and I'm going to come one day to Radiant Wellness and be able to talk. It, it was never in my mind, really. I never thought that it would happen. But it just kept on growing one to the other to the other. And in fact, one of the first things I learned, besides the fact that when people ask me now, did my voice really, uh, I don't know if that's in your question, but did my voice, my uh, adbhut or funny voice. It's called contralto. Mm. Did I speak out it? Con uh. Contralto. 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 And uh, they, in school, they didn't know where to fit me. Okay, So my music teacher, Miss Davidson, threw me out of class and said, Sami, you can't sing, so go out. So uh, that was it. Uh, but I never felt bad about it or anything because I think she knew that I had music in me. So she gave me the triangle and the and tambourine and the clappers and I was very happy with them. I'm actually basically a happy person because who doesn't have problems in this world, yes? And uh, I think we have one like that over here just now on the wheelchair. I mean, why would any, anybody want to stop you or why would you want to stop yourself from going anywhere? And though we have problems in life, I think the most important thing that I learned through my life was to make my weaknesses or my limitations into my strengths. So people ask me, you know, how do you manage? And I said, well, you know, I don't know why people think that all pure girls must only have Lata Mangeshkarji's voice and all the bad girls should have my voice. So, and now you can't leave, that's not fair. It's not even dark, okay. Okay. I think we'll, we'll just close the door now. Absolutely, lock it up. We'll just lock up the door. Nobody can go. So for me, it was never, never a, you know, hurdle that my voice was the way I was because I didn't start off as a playback singer. No, I started off as a nightclub singer. Very proud to say that I am a nightclub singer. And I'm, yes, I think that's very important because it, it also inspired so many other girls because there was a time when uh, nightclub singing was only for the privilege or the prerogative of the so-called Anglo-Indian with their black numbers and, you know, showing cleavage and body and everything, which I had nothing to talk about anyway. So it was, it was really quite amazing how slowly but surely I realized that uh, besides the fact that I wanted to, people to be happy, I noticed that um, when I sang different languages, you know, and I added, say, for example, if I was singing in Madras at the Music Academy or something like that, I realized that if I sang in all, along with, with all my English songs, if I suddenly sang, uh, you know, Bambara Kanna Le, Kadil Sangadishana Le, Tangichi Le, Paul Vandamana, Daita Vike Vita Le, I found that people really enjoyed it even more because when you touched the chord 
of somebody's heart with their their kind of language, I think it makes a big difference. And uh, we have somebody over here with a nice turban, so I might as well say that I'm the first madrasi to sing a Punjabi song. And you know that, yeah? Nobody else used to sing Punjabi songs in those days except the Punjabis. And this is an open challenge to everybody. But I did learn how to sing in Punjabi and I always say thank you to Asa Singh Mastana Ji and to Sarjeet Kaur for giving me I, one of my biggest hits is of course Kali Teri Gutt Te Paranda Tera Lalni Aho Everybody Aho Come on now Aho Come on everybody Come on Yes, so I started singing in different languages. And so, you know, being married at 18 and not, not being able to follow my dream, all that never came into my mind at all because I live uh, in the moment. Yes, it's nice to live in the moment because who doesn't have problems? And we all do. And if you want to live in the past, then, you're, then it's over for you. And if you want to live in the future, you've got to make today, just now, the most beautiful moment ever. And for me, this is the moment, really. So for all my lovely audience, just to uh, give you a little brief on her, she wasn't uh, the singer, but she was the dis dis uh, destined celebrity and the legend. Because in truth, it was both her older sisters, Uma and Indra, who were the singers. They were called the Sami sisters. And they were the ones who were the rock stars in the family. Ushadi would just go and accompany her parents and watch her sisters perform. And uh, see how fate took the turn that, you know, she was, she just went to have a blast in a bar. And today, after 54 years, you know, she is the Usha Uthup. Yes, and isn't it strange? Everybody, of course, it happened even today when I rang up uh, room service for something, I think coffee, and uh, the person said, yes, sir. I said, no, it's not, sir. I'm, so before I used to clarify and say, no, this is Usha Utup, and they would say, okay, sir. So, you know, I guess I sounded like a man, so now I don't even bother to clarify, yes? But it's, uh, it's really strange, as you say, that, uh, you know, the person who sang in a nightclub, looking the way I am, sounding the way I am, it is, it is strange, but I think it is the complete contrast of the way I look and what I deliver is totally different, yeah. And so I guess that would be one of the reasons why I'm still around. And it's a great feeling to be able to say that I was never in the rat race, really. Because I can't, I can't sing like anybody else, and I don't want to, because I wouldn't go that path. I can't sing like, uh, say, Hariharan or uh, Shreya Gosha, Goshalo, uh, K.S. Chitrama or S. Janaki. It's impossible to sing like them, right? But uh, I don't think uh, they could do what I'm doing on stage. Absolutely. Isn't that? I think everybody in their own place and there's room for many, many, many more. I've never learned to know to music, so I really don't know. When people ask me, I keep saying always that the song is much bigger than the singer. The song will live on forever and ever. Like all of you remembered when I said Bambara Karnale, you know, all everybody enjoyed it and everybody remembered. Like if I had to say Parthanya Bhagam Illayo Paruvanadagam Tullayo Quite nice, huh? Okay. So you don't remember the singer, not every day, but the song will somehow or the other connect with you. And I think that is what is so important. Like, none of you know that she's a terrific singer as well. She's just done a video and it really sounded amazing and yeah, really marvelous. So with technology and things like that that have been coming up, more and more I say that one must live in the moment, really. And uh, as I've also said so many times, for those of you who don't, I'm sure you understand, one of my biggest uh, takes now in life is, ye mat kaho khuda se, meri mushkilen badi hain. Ye mushkilon se keh do. Mera khuda bada hai. Yeah. Why don't you just sing that? I love that song. Isn't that so beautiful? I it sent is. it to you. Actually, it's such a lovely... And there are four, three gentlemen and one lady that's going out. <laughs> okay, bye. 
You're coming back? Check if everything's okay. <laughs> okay. You know, when you said one must uh, learn to laugh at oneself, that's my biggest, one of my biggest strengths, that I'm able to laugh at myself and uh, look at the mirror every day and say, hey God, is this really what you made kind of thing, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's good fun to, to know, especially when you, uh, you are happy with uh, growing. Uh, you, you, you know, growing old is inevitable, but you don't have to grow old. Yeah, I believe that. That's a high five. Isn't that so? Yeah. yeah. So when people, uh, I know you, you've got all your questions and all that ready. That's because I read my, your book and I, I came prepared. But then we can always go generic. Yeah. No, but I have to tell the audience something which is so important about age, okay? Uh, people see me because they've, uh, some of them even come up to me and say, uh, we were in school when you were singing. And they'd be really old people, you know, and I say, yeah, 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 and I say, of course, of course. I just want to be nice to them, okay, because I, before I used to clarify and I used to say, no, I passed out from school in 1965. How could you have seen me singing or some rubbish like that? But now I don't even bother because I learned that, you know, when people uh, grow with you and your music and everything, I think they never think about your age, really. And I don't think, I think it's so important. There are people who meet me in the, in the road and say, you know, who, itne saalon baad aap picture bhi dekhte hain, to mene kaya kaya, mar jau kya phir? Hajeeb log hain. Yeah, of course I do everything that everybody else is doing and you just carry on with life just the way you are and I think that is so, so important when you're happy in your skin and comfortable in the, uh, wherever you are. I think it's absolutely marvelous and the one way to do that is to be happy in the moment that you are. Most important. And uh, really it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter your age. It matters, uh, to me, it really doesn't matter at all. I, I completely second this. I was having, we were having dinner with her yesterday and I'm known for making reels. I mean, all my friends, my besties, they know if there's a party with Renu, <laughs> then we're going to make a reel at the end of whatever get together is. And I was holding back, you know, I said, I must behave myself. And I was sitting with her and she said, Acha, party is coming to an end, huh? Should we make a reel? And I said, yay, I didn't ask this. This was she who said, should we make a reel? We can't go without making a reel. <laughs> so I'm... I'm so happy. I mean, like, I agree that age is... For you, I think you'll never age. No, I hope not. I hope not. The, the thing that I definitely want to say is that with age, I think one learns to... Uh, not that, you, that God gives you more uh, strength or thing like that. I think he gives you strength to cope better. And I think that is what is so marvelous about life. Like as we speak now, I mean, not many people know, but as we speak, my, my son is going through dialysis, okay? And he's, uh, he has dialysis every day. And uh, it's, it's really sad, okay? But before I get in, and I cry, I cry a lot for everything. So I want all of you to know that I advocate crying because it's good, just cry. When you have to cry, just cry. Don't hold it back because it's cathartic, it's also a therapy, and it makes you feel much stronger. So before I get into his room where he's having the dialysis, I'm feeling really sad that, you know, he has nothing else to look forward to except the next dialysis. And then by that time, I've wiped my tears and I get into the... And this is everyday routine. I get into the room and I say, Hi, Sunny. And I put on that smile, which is so important. As you said, you know, if you can't bring a smile on somebody else's face, it's not worth it. And I think that is the most important thing. When somebody asks me in an interview, they ask me, um, tell us, what would you like to be remembered? Or how would you like to be remembered when your ashes are being taken? <gasps> it was such a frightening thing. God, I don't want to die now. Definitely not. But uh, when I thought about it, cried a little bit in the interview, and then I said, actually, I'd like to be remembered as somebody who made you smile or who made you happy. That's it. So simple. Yeah, I'd like to have some more gold, but most of the gold I gave to Bappi Lahiri. Jokra. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
<laughs> okay. <laughs> she can't bear it. But I've done quite a lot of things uh, which are innovative because, uh, you know, when you know that something is not working or your legs are not working or something, I decided that about my Kanjivaram sneakers, I'm sure you had the question yes, on that. Yes, yes. For all of you, I wear Kanjivaram sneakers. Can you see them? It's a, it's a very beautiful story. Uh, actually, what had happened is an ashtray, a heavy ashtray had fallen on her feet and it had paralyzed her. Hemi paralyzed her. I think one half of her body was paralyzed for quite some time. And with knowing her mental grit and her determination, she got back to what she is. But she's always had a little problem walking. And then she said that enough is enough. I'm going to wear shoes, but I'll wear shoes with a difference. So she hunted around, found a gob cobbler, and then her old Kanjivaram saris, she cut them and actually her shoes are made from her Kanjivaram silk. And yes, really. Can you see them? And now you'll see a lot of ladies in, this, in the airport wearing uh, sneakers. Remember where it started, okay? Don't forget. Yeah, because nobody, no women ever wore. And also another thing that they never used, I you always used to, I always hold my sari like this. I'm sure many of you, if you haven't heard this story before, then it'll be really interesting. But if you've heard it uh, many times before, it'll be even more interesting. <laughs> so I'd like to say, why do I hold my sari like this? Because I sang in the music academy many, many years ago. In fact, when I started, and I was so excited. Next day in the Hindu paper, headlines and this photograph, and I said, God, whose stomach is that? <laughs> and then I realized, the only way to do it is to cover it up with your wonderful sari. And that's why. So in serials now, you know, I don't know if you all watch uh, Tamil serials or Indian serials. You find all the ladies like this. You know, holding it up like this because, yes, I'm sure many ladies over here won't, will take advice from me. And most people thought that I was uh, trained by... What's his name? Manish, Manish, Manish Manotra or uh, Tarun. No, no, no. Sit, sit, sit. Tarun uh, Tahiliani or some singer, I mean, some famous designer to show my pallu. But it's not. It's just to hide my. It's just to hide my wonderful body. <laughs> and usually photographers come on the left hand side, like this one standing there. And they're just able to, even though I'm wearing such, covering up everything, <laughs> completely. Still they'll get something or the other. Okay, now they go. <laughs> so now you know. All the guys will be wondering. Oh, all the ladies will wonder too. But uh, for those of you who have a, yeah, have a wonderful body, you show it. Yeah, you flaunt it. <laughs> Not me. No, anyone can flaunt their body. I mean, like today you see people in the West, every, I mean, you don't have to be slim and trim. No. Yeah, you must live your dreams. Live you, in the moment. You went away, Vandama. No chance. Because <laughs> I'm so, all the time, so conscious for nothing. I don't know why, but this is good advice. Why should one care, right? Yeah. You know, actually, it's true, but uh, yeah, this is something that I've been uh, all the time conscious about, and I, I love, love, the, love to see the change in the ladies who hold their sari pallus like this. And all of you can learn from me. Well, most of them have, but sneakers don't ever forget where it started, okay, ladies and gentlemen, when you see yeah, people walking with sneakers now. So, I don't know whether many of you know that the legendary song Dam Maro Dam do you know who sang it eventually who had sung it yes but who was the initial choice it was her it was our legendary Ushadi who had to sing Dam Maro Dam and then you can tell the audience that why didn't you sing it well, actually, uh, you know, it would make such a big controversial statement and, you know, people would have done it long time back and this happened in 1969 when Ardi Burman asked me and Shashi Kapoor and Navketan unit entirely, they were all in Delhi at the Oberoi Continental when I was singing and after the show was over, they came up to me and they said, would you like to sing in our project? 
Hare Rama, Hare Krishna. And I was so excited, went back to Bombay, did the rehearsal, my appa was also there. We had a fantastic rehearsal and it, I was supposed to sing the song, but after about a week or so, there was no contact from Adi Berman. It was a duet between uh, me and Lataji Mangeshkar actually. And of course, Lataji would have sung for the heroine, that is Mumtaz, and I was going to sing for the anglicized uh, Zina Taman, which would have been just so wonderful, but it didn't happen. And uh, the song got, I mean, went across to Asha Bhosle, and she sang very well, but as I say, Dane Dane Pe Likha Hai Khane Wale Ka Naam, and Gane Gane Pe Likha Hai Gane Wale Ka Naam. But even now, people think that it's my song, so it's fine. I'm happy. I don't clarify. There's no point because, you know, it's such a long story and I don't want to say it every time. So, um, we just spoke about sari, but I love your statement you make in your book saying, dignified traditional Indian attire sent the message that physical modernity is meaningless. And I think I love that sentence. Yes, actually, actually it is meaningless. And you know, I feel that uh, fashion is all about comfort and uh, how comfortable you are. Constancy, also being, um, yeah, constant, constancy, consistency. And I think that's what fashion is about. I don't think you just take up something new and wear it because everybody else is wearing it. I mean, you know, you would look wonderful in a sari, but imagine me wearing that, what you're wearing. Who are you? <laughs> Be tough, first of all, you wouldn't get my size, but anyway, that's another thing. Are you giving me a compliment or are you being sarcastic? Compliment, I compliment. Just, I have to clarify this. I only give compliments. I'm very conscious now. I'm, no, you look wonderful. And everybody knows by now, I'm sure, that one of the things I always say is, if you can't be nice, don't be. Ah, ab ja rahe. I thought you were going to sing a song with me. Sorry? Okay, okay. Back in five minutes. Ushadi, I'm so intrigued by this curve. It's so beautiful. You have curve. And now I see you have it even in your earrings. I did yeah. notice that. So is this of any significance? Yes, the curve is It's actually core for... Is there any Bengali over here? Many people who are working over here are all Bengalis. And Ko is for Kolkata. And I have... Um, uh, but, but I mean, people would say, you know, just because you love Kolkata, you don't have to have it written all over you. But if you can say, I love New York and I love Tokyo, why can't you say you love places in your own country? Yeah? And I think that's important. So I also have a wonderful uh, Tamil one, which is so beautiful. I looked and looked and... Couldn't find the one uh, for uh, Madras today. It's Isai. You know, I, I have a lovely bindi with Isai written. Just E. You know, it's such a beautiful, uh, you know, script that we have. All our Indian scripts are so beautiful. And all the foreigners, the ones that they like the best are the Malayalam and the Tamil. They call it Tamil Wigglies. You know, the, all the curly, curly things that happen. And I have Isai and I've got, uh, I've got Ka for, in Malayalam for Kerala. I've got for Dili, the. I've got some lovely ones, Mer for Mumbai. And uh, I wear them wherever I go because I think it's nice if you want to send a message. Why not? So, Ushadi, my last question would be, there are, f there are five women in your life who, have, who I believe shielded you from bad omens. And I think they're very connected with your home, Shanti. Yes. So, and how have these five amazing women inspired you to become the person you are? Actually, it's my uh, Patima, my grandmother was really amazing. And, uh, you know, one would have imagined that, um, you know, the older generation, I feel, are much broader thinking, much broader thinking than uh, many of the younger people or we are. I remember when, um, Fatima came to, how did they inspire me together is, you know, I get inspired by when people ask me, did uh, Lataji Mangeshkar inspire you to sing? I say no, because I was in awe of her, I, was in, I admired her, 
but I couldn't, I was never really uh, inspired by any of the singers. The, my biggest inspiration has been Radio Salon. And in those days, there was nothing but the radio. So I always say the video can never, ever kill the radio. So radio has been my biggest thing in listening to music over the radio. That's how I learned all my music. And uh, so the inspiration that I drew from these five ladies was the fact that, you know, grace, dignity, self-respect, and most importantly, honesty is what, really takes you really far. And if you're honest to whatever you believe in, I think you, maybe people think that I'm being oversimplistic, but truly it's, it's the truth. That if you are 100% honest on stage or whatever you're doing, I'm, I say stage because, uh, you know, we're talking and when we talk about mental wellness, believe me, believe me, my, the only place it really gives me peace is when I'm singing and when I'm with all of you. I'm a total people's person and I realized that, you know, when my party ma, she came to listen to me for the first time in Savera Hotel and there was this dance, a lo lot of people dancing on the floor and she asked, you know, the Yenna Madri dance, what is all this dance holding each other and everything? So, uh, I didn't have any answer. I said, that's the Western dance, party ma. After six months, the dance changed, you know, it became a break dance and they all separately, standing separately and dancing. And Patima came again for the show, my show, and she said, Idi enna madri dance, koranga madri dance. It, for those of you who don't know Tamil, it looked like a monkey dance. I said, exactly what? Ve madiya dance, dance pandra. What does muddy mean in uh, any other language? Huh? Not muddy, muddy and muddy, you know, muddy, uh, tradition, what, uh, purity, purity. You know, you've got to be muddy. And I said, that's, that's what they're doing. They're not even touching each other because they're so pure and you wanted everything to be so pure. But they are so broad minded, you know, the older generation. They never had any objection to my marrying, uh, finally, Jani, my husband. Uh, Yes, of 54 years now, Jani Otup. And uh, it's just amazing how they had no objection at all. It was people from the next generation, really, who had uh, slight objections. It's really crazy how we think that the older generation isn't, but I think they're wonderful, wonderful. And all the women who, uh, like my mother, then... Um, you, many people have asked me who I like very much. I, I got, I really, 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 you know, besides working for Mother Teresa, so closely, so closely, yes. I was also inspired very deeply by the work and her commitment to working for the poorest of the poor. And it was a great lesson for me when she told me, I don't need your money, Usha. Once I told her, Let's do a show. We haven't done a show for a long time. I used to collect a lot of money for a charity. At that time, suddenly she said, I don't need your money, Usha. Give me your time. And that sent me off on a road to thinking how important it is for each other to give each other time. Time which I think is the only thing that really belongs to you. Nothing else belongs to you. Absolutely. So... So, ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, I think you must pick up this book. It's available in Amazon, uh, The Queen of Indian Pop. And, you know, when we see her through a particular perspective, through a particular prism, and we see her as Usha Uthup, the legend, you know, Usha Uthup, our pop queen. But then when you read this book, you realize that, oh my God, she's such a... She's gone through so much in her life, her ups, her downs. She's an excellent cook. She sews. She's an excellent, ta I won't say tailor. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Okay, Taylor. She sews clothes. She's, her daughter calls her like multi-talented. And she's got so much of talent other than singing, you know. And she's just another person like you and me. Passed, and she's passed through so much in her life. 
her first husband, then within a very short span of five years, she fell in love with her present husband of 50 with odd Johnny. years. <laughs> in a, they again met in a, uh, in na- in in a nightclub yeah, in Chinkas in, in Calcutta, Calcutta. And then he pursued her and then... I think I pursued him. Okay. Know. Between I want, us, yeah. I wanted to be a little kind. I mean, no, I no, no. Be Between us, I mean, he's just, I don't, I'm sure for all the men over here, you'll be very happy to know that I advocate this as well for all the women over here. Please don't read between the lines. Just don't. Because, yeah, I, yes, I used to, for everything, in 10 years uh, within my, after my marriage, I, I said once to Jani, what's happened, John, to us? We don't talk. You don't say I love you. You don't hold my hand. I'm sure all the women are com- grumbling about the same thing. And he would put the newspaper down and say, okay, talk. <laughs> and then I'd get... I'd get upset and I'd cry, but then they think it's perfectly okay. Nothing's wrong. You don't have to talk all the time. And my husband taught me that. And totally democratic fa- family. He puts on his BBC and he's watching WhatsApp. And I have to just, I don't put my music on, especially when he's over there, because he's a man of very, very few words. So people ask me, so how do you remember everything that he says? And I tell them, because he's spoken in 54 years, maybe 108 sentences. So I remember so many songs so like that. I, and if you want to know some of the nice interesting things which I'm sure all the ladies are dying to know, let me tell you, my first fight with my husband, I got out of the house and I kept on telling me, I took the tray to him with the tea. I was so excited because I'd seen Amma doing it to Appa and I thought I must also do that. So I gave him the tea when he came back home from work and he just smashed my first dream and he said, I'm not that kind of man. I don't talk about my work in the house and I don't talk about my house at work. So no taking the tea to him, no nothing, nothing. So then we had a big fight and then I said, I'm leaving. And uh, I banged the door and I walked out and every five minutes I kept looking at the back and thinking whether he would come back to come after me but he wasn't there. And I walked out of the house and walked around the compound about five times, every time looking back but he never came back. So quietly I went back to the house. (laughs) So girls, please take it from me. Yeah, the best thing in the world is to work hand in hand with the man. They are just like that, just like we are, just the way we are. And we can, every woman's issue is a man's issue, really. And the sooner we realize that we can't, that they can't do without us, we can't do without them either. And God meant it that way. So I think, girls, if you ever need any talk from me, and you're dying to cry and your husband's really bad, let him be bad. You're lucky. I used to think in the beginning, oh, why don't you come for my shows? You never come anywhere before it was so nice. He said that was because, (laughs) yeah. No, you know the line? At that time, you were what they want, and then now they are, you are what they have. have. So, the sooner you learn that, girls, the better. And don't blame the man for everything. Because half the time, we are reading into those lines. If he doesn't say, good morning, you think there's something wrong. If he doesn't kiss you before going out in the morning, you think there's something even wronger. If he doesn't phone you 50 times from the office, you think everything is falling apart. Just don't. Just enjoy yourself. You forgot one thing. If he's moody or if he's uh, in another zone, you always blame yourself. Why? No, which no, zone? I mean, that's what I think all the women, all yeah. the wives... Yeah, do, which zone are you in? I mean, you know, let them be where they are. They're happy that way. And let it be, girls. Let it be. Don't fight. It's not worth it. Don't, don't, really. <laughs> so, with that, I think that's a beautiful wrap for our in-conversation. But we're not letting you go before we hear you sing. Are we dying to sing? Nobody's asking me to sing. Who <laughs> <laughs> wants to talk? No, but actually, I'm a, uh, I, I do a lot of motivational speeches and the men would be very happy to know that uh, I'm on their side as well. Because, yes, because you can't do these things and, you know, taking all that 
and say fighting and you know, I'm not one for all of that. I think we can work much better together hand in hand with man. And I think, and yes, especially look at you. Yeah, I think it's no, very I think important. I, I think I'll take, I'll, I'll just take a cue from there because Raiden Wellness Conclave was a dream for me and today it wouldn't have never ever been possible without my husband not only saying yes, let's do it, he's like the driving force behind it. And it's all kudos to my husband, Colonel David Devasaham, that today we are in our physical sixth wellness conclave. We did have one online, which was, so this could be our seventh, but it's just that I had a dream, I had that vision, but the power and the force behind this entire conclave, I think it's all my husband, Colonel David Devasaham. Absolutely. And the Oscar goes to Usha Utup. <laughs> What do you say? Yeah, actually it's the truth. You know, it's, uh, I don't know why uh, women ever, f ever fight about anything really. Because in any case, we are Shakti. Right? Nice note to end on. <laughs> Will you ask me to sing? Oh, finally. Uh, I think... I think Som Somesh, he needs to set up. Somrish. Somrish, yeah, how much time to do you need to set up? How you need to... Huh? Just five minutes. Very optimistic. Keep, we'll give you ten. Yeah, can you no, just keep kidding. setting up? Because I don't want thee to get No, 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 no. You up. don't go away anywhere now. I have to sing for you. J can you start Cup setting of tea. it up? So, uh, if anyone wants to ask any questions, feel free to ask Oshadi while Mr. Somrish sets the stage for her to sing. Nothing much to say. Just bring the monitors closer to me. I love the your purple suit, actually. Matching. Yeah, I know. All match, matching, matching. Oh. Woodiva. Dr. Reno, do you want to take a few questions from the audience? We'll yes, give them five yes, minutes to do yes, this properly. I think, I think we can do that. Paloma, you'd like to go around? I'll do that. Uh, those who want to ask any questions from Ushadi, could you please raise your hand? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Can we have a mic taken to the lady at the back, please? You could come to the front if you want. You could that just might walk be in better the front also, so yeah, that... Perfect. Uh, You could introduce yourself and uh, you could ask your question. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, it's really an honor for me to see you today because I first saw you uh, when I was 19 years in Shillong. Uh, in uh, Anjali, I think uh, you had performed there. So. Now, uh, I, I don't want to tell everyone my age, but it's a lot more years, <laughs> decades later. But it's really nice to see you. My question well, is... Well, uh, Usha you, Utubdi, my question can is, Dr. Palni Tiyagarajan use the washroom and come back? <laughs> He's just coming back. My question is, you would have performed all over India. Uh, which are the memorable ones? And have you performed in many parts of the world too? Thank oh, you. yes. In fact, all over the world, except uh, I was dreaming that I'd go back to Spain and I was happy to go to Valladolid. I performed, yes, in most of the places. And uh, okay, please, everybody, everybody's going away. Le. You know, this conclave is really quite amazing and uh, I can't even begin to tell you how proud I am to say that I just won that car outside the Mercedes. Uh, can I have a big hand for that? Yeah. So excited because, you know, wherever I go, people are so kind to me. They send me BMW, then they send me uh, Mercedes, this series, that series, that series. And I say, please just send me the Innova. I wish somebody was here from Innova to say that, you know, I said such nice things about, it's one of the most comfortable cars really to get in. You don't, all these other cars, you got to roll in and roll out. So, uh, isn't it? Isn't it? So I don't like all that. Yeah. But people think that Toyota or... Uh, Oh, Innova has paid me to say these things, no. Nobody pays me to say anything. And while they're setting up, I want all of you to know that uh, I think uh, 
some of the, I used to be called the jingle queen, the ad queen, okay? And I've done some very, very interesting ads. I'm sure you remember many of them. Uh, one of them was, happy days are here again. Thumbs up, thumbs up. That was mine, okay? Then uh, there were many, many other ones like, Gale me kich kich gale me kya karu Vicks ki goli lo kich kich dur karo You remember that one? Yeah. So many wonderful jingles and uh, you know I love it because uh, people still remember me from those uh, those lovely jingles. I did Cad Cadbury's, all their things, then, uh, then Pond's Dream Flower Talk, all sorts of jingles. In fact, more, more jingles than songs have I done. And uh, now, of course, the one is Amul Dood Pita Hai India. Did you know that was me? No, we didn't. No. Allah, that's very bad. But now we do. Sure. Ma'am, some more questions from the audience. I think we have a few. Sorry? Is that okay? Can we take a few more questions? Of course, of course. We had a couple of hands. I'm so sorry. We Please come forward, ma'am. Hi. Hi. Uh, it's, it's a great privilege. Thank I you mean, so much. To see you up close and hear you. We hear you, you every single day. So it's wonderful to see Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your Rahe Na Rahe Hum. Yes. Hari Haran. Thank and you. All of the, it's amazing just to watch you sing. Here yeah, you do all the time. Thank you. It's amazing. Thank you. And uh, something I'd like to know, did you train in classical music? At any no, time? I've never learned to know to music. Nothing at all. In fact, oh, I don't wow. know. I, I never learned. So, but, but I have no regrets. I mean, I would advocate singing, le learning from every, uh, for every youngster today. Please, jitna bhi seekhna hai, seekhe, because it's wonderful to learn. But if you haven't learned, it really doesn't matter because yes. you can learn through experience like I have. And uh, now it would be very difficult if I had to unlearn everything. As you know, once you get trained in Carnatic music, then a little bit of that comes into your music, isn't it? I mean, yes. most. Yes, it uh, is. So yes. it, it's different. And I'm so glad that there are people like you who ask me these kind of questions because uh, there was a time when everybody thought that, my goodness, if you're a South Indian, then you're not knowing, you can't even speak proper English. What is the meaning of this? But today I like to say that the no, South Indians are ruling the world completely. And, what do you say? Yes, <laughs> and, and you have broken every stereotype, which is wonderful. Thank you so much. You've broken every stereotype and you are the strength for all those women who cannot sing in Lata Ji's voice. Exactly. We and I want you to know that there is a singer in everybody. Yes. And a little bit of a feedback. Nanna Andike Kardangapo. Okay. <laughs> Which means I love him so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. But you, it's so wonderful that you would say that I am an inspiration to people Absolutely. who think. That. But you know, I wonder why everybody thinks this preconceived idea that all good girls must have their such a high-pitched voice. No, everything is What's standardized. What's it got to do with that? It's all standardized. What's it got to do with that? That's what I can't understand. And uh, I'd like for all of you to know that, you know, the song Ramba Ho, then Hari Om Hari, then so many other cabaret songs of mine, actually. If you cut the highs a little bit on this, uh, so many songs were done by Kalpana Ayer. Yes. And I met her recently in Dubai, just a, a couple of weeks ago. Of course, she looks totally different from what she ever looked but still the same grace and still the amazing fun that we had together. And, uh, you know, it's just strange that at the time when the person was really good, like Helen or Kalpana Ayer, we never, we, we always thought that was not good, no? And today they've become classic, yes. isn't it? So I think for anything to become classic, you've got to give it time. Yes, aged wine. A little bit of time you need yes. to give everybody. And thank you so much for your... You look lovely as well. Oh, thank so. you so much, <laughs> Okay, can I start singing? All right. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to do a song with... Uh, where are you? Ah, what's your name? Swarnalata, okay. Um, I'll be singing a song, I'll tell you which one. She said, you will have to give her a mic as well. 
Now, is the, where is that? No, where is the other speaker? Uh, can you shift that here? Can you shift that other speaker here on this side? Or, or it's okay. It's okay. Let's try. But I do two songs and then you get into it, okay? I hope I've, uh, I'm a good stand in for Shashi Tharoor. Many people were very, <laughs> thank you. Many people were, would have been very disappointed. But let me tell you, I rang him up yesterday and he did say that uh, Renuka had asked and everything was finalized, but unfortunately he couldn't make it over here. So he's really, really sad. And I will tell him that everybody who met me asked me whether he was coming or, you know, whether his speech was finished. So I plan to say a whole lot of words that, like the way he would say it, but then it's not coming, so it's all gone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, is there? And I mean, I'm, I've we've picked up a couple of songs, and uh, you know, if it's uh, if it's getting too late for you, uh, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, what do you say? Okay. All right. The the first time that I sang in uh, Nine Gems, I met up with James Bond, and of course, you don't believe that, right? But that's okay. <laughs> And he told me uh, he wanted a South Indian girl acting in his movie because I was doing so many James Bond songs. And so I said, okay. And uh, he said, but I want you to act in it also. So I said, yeah, definitely, Mr. Bond. I'd love to sing for you. I'd love to be in your film. And I said, can you give me the date? And he said, 16th, 16th of September, 2023. I said, I'm so sorry, I'm with, with the colonel and his lovely wife, Renuka. I'm so sorry, I can't be with you. So ladies and gentlemen, I gave up James Bond for all of you. I'm still singing. This is Rinta. Let's have a big hand for her. Rinta and Samaresh do all my music for me. I wonder what, usually people take photographs of me. Fool. <laughs> so I'm still singing James Bond songs and he's changed so many times, but I remember, remain essentially the same. Quite, a, quite the same, really. This time it's the Academy Award winning song, Skyfall in a Sari. Do, do you want to put that little down the light because then I can't read anything here? Okay. Oh, lovely. <laughs> This is the end Hold your breath and count to ten Feel the earth move a van Hear my heart burst again For this is the end I've drowned and dreamt each moment So overdue I am Swept away I am Stolen Let the sky fall When it crumbles We will stand tall it all together let the sky fall when it crumbles we will stand tall face it all together at sky fall at 
at Skyfall Skyfall is where we start A thousand miles and bowls apart Where worlds collide and days are dark You may have my number You can take my name But you will never have my heart Let the sky fall When it crumbles We will stand tall Face it all Together let the sky fall When it crumbles We will stand tall Face it all together at Skyfall. I go, what you see I see, I know I'll never be me, without the security of your loving arms, keeping me from harm, put your hand in my hand and we'll stand, let the sky fall, when it crumbles, we will stand tall, face it all, together let the sky fall, when it crumbles, we will stand tall, face it all, together at skyfall, at skyfall. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sang it well, no? <laughs> I know I sang it well. Because all of you are right there in front of me. And I feel good about it too. Oh, I love it. Okay, there's been a request for a song called, it's an old song called Summer Wine. Would you like to listen to that? Yes. All you, I won't say drunkards. <laughs> Up your curth. No. I'll say all you people who enjoy your good spirit. Here is a song for you. It's a song which I used to sing many, many years ago and it's a Chennai favorite. So here it is for you. If you feel like singing the words with me, just go ahead. Strawberries, cherries, and an angel kissing spring. My summer wine is really made from all these things. Get your hands, everybody. Come on. Give me some more on the monitor, the track. Whoa. I walked in town on silver spurs, a jingle too A song that I had only sung to just a few She saw my silver spurs and helped me pass some time And I will give to you some wine Oh, some wine Wine. You know the words, come on. Strawberries, cherries, and an angel kissing spring. My summer wine 
is really made from all these things take off your silver spurs and help me pass some time and now we'll give to you summer wine whoa summer wine my eyes grew heavy and my lips they could not speak I tried to get up but I could not find my feet she reassured me with an unfamiliar line and gave to me just one more summer wine oh summer wine in those days we didn't know single malt lamb strawberries cherries and an angel kissing spring my summer wine is really made from all these things take off your silver spurs and help me pass some time and i will give to you that 69 whoa summer wine when i woke up the sun was shining in my eyes my head grew heavy head fell twice the size she took my silver spurs a dollar and a dime and left me craving for summer wine oh summer wine sing now strawberries cherries my summer wine is really made take off your silver spurs and help me pass some time and i will give to you summer wine mm, summer wine whoa summer wine everybody let me have a big hand for this song because it's been amazing how through the 54 years this song has remained so so popular and as i said in those days really we never knew what was single malt or anything else i remember but very clearly people talking about vat 69 as if it was the world's best drink i don't know anyway as i said people because i had a voice like this people used to think that there must be really really well. hmm? And I also need the six. It's just amazing how, um, you know, people think, have these preconceived ideas. If she's a nightclub singer, she must be drinking, she must be smoking. But thank God I did not there, nothing else. I have only one vice and that's my husband. <laughs> Funny. Okay. Um, can I sing for you a song called Sway? Okay. <clears throat> Maybe you want to dance, yeah, if you feel like, but... If you don't, it's okay. Sway. This is because I cry for everything. Really. Let's go. Come on. Whoa! Here it is. starts to play dance with me make me sway like a lazy ocean hugs the shore hold me close sway me more like a flower bending in the breeze bend with me sway with ease when we dance you have a way with me 
stay with me, sway with me. Other dancers may be on the floor, dear, but my eyes can see only you. Only you have the magic technique. When we sway, I grow weak. I could hear the sound of violins long before it begins. Make me feel as only you know how. Sway me smooth, sway me now. All the tracks, nothing is downloaded from the net. It's all my musicians who have played especially so I can come and sing for all of you. There's Sumit Ramchandran, there's Amol Roy, there's Benu Chatterjee, a lot of wonderful musicians, Nepal Shaw, and um, Shubo Shampot, and of course Dubai, who puts it all together. starts to play dance with me make me sway like a lazy ocean hugs the shore sway me smooth sway me more like a flower bending in the breeze bend with me sway with ease when we dance you have a way with me stay with me sway with me other dancers may be on the floor Dear, but my eyes can see only you Only you have a magic technique When we sway I grow weak I could hear the sound of violins Long before it begins Make me fool as only you know how Sway me smooth, sway me now Sway me now Sway me now Thank you so much Okay, all of you heard this song Does it remind you of any other song? No? No, does this song Sway remind you of any other song? Shall I tell you? No? Correct! Sir! And the Oscar goes to him for that. Parthanya Bhagamilayo. Yes. When we dance, you have a way with me. Sway with me. It's not copied, it's been inspired, okay. So, here's another one. It's Besame uh, Mucho. Would like to sing it for you. Yeah. You want to listen to it? Is there any other song you want? I know the songs that you want, but unfortunately, we're not going to be able to sing it because uh, I believe uh, there is so many alphabets like IPRS and IPL and all these people who come to collect money for, 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 if I sing even my own songs. Yeah. Here it is. Ah, thank you. Okay, here it is. Besame. Will somebody give me coffee? You had you had your tea. Are you no tea, huh? No tea, no coffee. But I'm so used to everybody drinking in front of me, so it's okay. I'm probably the only singer who doesn't feel bad, you know, when you drink and have a good time. Because you're giving me coffee. Oh, you want to sing it now? Okay. Put uh, uh, give her a mic. You do Ajib. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll ask her to sing now. Huh? Huh? No, no, no. We'll do it now. Just now. From there. Hello. Can we hear your voice? Hello. No, no, not so gentle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Ajeeb. Okay. Do you want a mic as well? Give Renuka a mic as well, so that 
she can support her singing yeah ladies and gentlemen this is going to be really wonderful and if some if some uh, people come and catch you for singing this song i didn't Hello. do it <laughs> is that okay for you you want the lyrics i can only sing the pallavi no no you would sing i know renuka wants the lyrics manage come play so happy really to have all of you here it's a fantastic audience and uh, i loved it when you knew who it was parthaniya bagam What happened? Don't tell me the power went off. What happened? Coffee, coffee. No, I don't need to stop the music for coffee. I can have it. Bring it. Okay, let's go. You. We can see your face. He thought we can't see. Actually, we're not supposed to sing any Hindi songs today. So sad, but we're singing this one specially for you and for Renuka. Ajib das tam, kaha shuru kaha khatam. ये मंजिले है कौन सी न वो समझ सके न हम अजीब लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन अ बिग हैंड स्वर्ण लता Correct. Now you got it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So you see, nothing is impossible. Everything is possible, and this conclave has shown us that, right? Let's have a big hand for the radiant wellness conclave. ना 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 चलेगा नहीं साथ क्यों धुआं उठा धुआं उठा चिराग से ये खाब देखते हूँ ये खाब देखती हूँ मैं कि चंबड़ी हूँ खाब से सिंग अजीब दास्ता है ये कहाँ शुरू कहाँ खत्म मंजिले है कौन सी न वो समझ सके न हम हाउ नाइस योर वॉइस साउंड नाउ अजीब दासता है कहा शुरू कहा ये मंजिले है कौन सी न वो समझ सके नारक Mubarak is the next antra. Mubarak e tumhe ki tum kisi ki noor ho gaya. Mubarak e tum you gonna sing. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Na 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 na. 
Everybody sing. Ajeeb daasta hai ye. Kaha shuru kaha khatam. Ye manzile hai kaun si. Na ho sakat saki na hum. Ajeeb daasta hai ye. किसी का प्यार लेके तो एवरीबॉडी सिंग ओके किसी का प्यार लेके तुम किसी का प्यार लेके तुम नया जहां बसाओगे किसी के इतने पास किसी के इतने पास हो कि सबसे कि सबसे दूर जा गए अजीब दासता है ये एवरीबॉडी कमान कहा शुरू कहा खत्म ये मंजिले है कौन सी न वो समझ सके न हम न वो समझ सके न हम न वो समझ सके न हम लेडीज एंड जैकमैन द फैबुलस स्वर्णलता एंड रेनुका लेट्स हैव अ बिग बिग हैंड लेडीज एंड जैकमैन Thank you so much. We didn't sing Thank so well, you. but uh, Thank this you. is such an ecstatic. Uh, what do you say, ecstasy? Thank you. Ecstatic moment for us uh, too. My life is complete today. Thank you so much. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Okay. Would you like to listen to Besame Mucho? Yes or no? What What would you like to listen to? Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Doesn't matter if we get caught. But we can't have. We have to have. You know, when you sing with the track, then you've got to be singing really loud. Okay, everybody. Otherwise, no fun. Chalo. It's okay. It's okay to sing. Okay. Very good.
हरे कृष्णा हरे राम हरे कृष्णा हरे राम हरे कृष्णा हरे राम हरे कृष्णा हरे राम Thank you so much, yes? <laughs> okay, see? And the uh, older we get, that's dedicated to her. The old day. Oh, okay. Okay, senior darling. Which, which, which one? In a Tamil film, uh, life is a flower. Yes, I would have loved to sing it, but uh, Kamala Hassan was supposed to be here tonight and our Varle. So, since he's not here, I can't sing it. I'm so sorry. How well he sang it with me. Thank you. No, I don't have a track actually for it. I would love it. What? the Bia tu ab tu aja. Dekho, wo aagya. All those natak you want. Drama. <laughs> Tamil song. What? We were, to, we were told not to sing anything. Anyway. Uh-uh. Sorry, no, no, actually I would have loved to sing for you a nice Tamil song. 
ನಿಲಾ ಅದವಾನತ ಮೇಲೆ ಪಲಾನದ ಓಡತ ಮೇಲೆ ಮನಾಡದ ತೇಡದ ಒಣ್ಣೆ ಹೊಯ್ಯ ಹೊಯ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಕೊಯ್ಲಿ ಒಯ್ಯ ಹೊಯ್ಯಿಂದ ಪಾಟು ಕೊಯ್ಲಿ ನಿಂಗ್ಲಾ ಕೊಯ್ಲಿ ಚುಮ್ಮಾ ಆಡುಂಗ ಮಾದ್ರಿ ರವಿ ತೆಗಿತ್ ಲಿಲ್ ಹಾಯ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ಹೀಲ್ ಡೂ ಕೊಯ್ಲಿ ನಿಲಾ ಅದವಾನತ ಮೇಲೆ ಪಲಾನದ ಓಡತ ಮೇಲೆ ಮನಾಡದ ತೇಡದ ಒನ್ನೆ ಹೊಯ್ಯ ಹೊಯ್ ಅದು ಎನ್ನ ಹೊಯ್ ಪೊಳುದಾನ ಪೋದುಂ ತೊಣವೊನ್ನ ವೇಣುಂ ಎಲಂಗಾಳ ಆಟ ಇಳಿಂಜಾನ ಪೋಗುಂ ನಿಲ ಅದು ಬಲಾನದು If you sing well, I can recommend your voices to Elay Raja, sir. Maybe then he'll give, give you a chance. Actually, I'm so glad you asked. Now you know, Renuka. You have to do these songs, otherwise it doesn't work. Okay, here's a song which all of you. This is my, uh, almost my last song. So normally when I say it's my last song, everybody says, Oh no! Shallamma, sariya. Lala, let's do it professionally, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be my last song. Of course not. But this song is a beautiful song, so we want you all to enjoy it. If you dance, then there's even more fun. Okay, let's go. I can't see you, Samarish. Some more. Some more volume. Can I read to you? ¿Dónde ha estado? He removido ese lo terreno de encontré Y llega hoy Tan de repente Y da sentido a toda mi vida y contigo querer No me sonja No me llana Yo vi tu ni música Es señorita Magar per vi No ya ni quiu Mucho es un que echa la ga Es señorita No devíe la mirada Quédate cerca de mí Mucho bajo mi tumquero Samajina, señorita Chahet que do pal bhi mil paay Dunia me ye bhi kam hai kya Do pal ko to aao ಹಮಾ ಪೋದ್ರೆ ಎಂತೆ ಪ್ರತಾರ ಎಲ್ ಸಂತಿ ದೋದೆಲ್ಲ ಪಾಲ ಬ್ರಾಸ್ ಕೆ ಮಿ ದೇ ದಿಕಾಸ್ ಬರಲ್ ಕಾಲೋರ್ ದೆ ತು ಮಿ ರಾರ್ ಮೆ ಸೆ ಸಂತಿರ್ ಕೋಮೋಲ ಮಾ ಬೇಯ ಸಿನಿಯೋರಿತ ನಿಗಾಹೋನೆ ನಿಗಾಹೋ ಸೆ ಕೈ ಅರ್ಮಾನು ಕಿ ದಾಸ ತಾಹೋರಿತ ಇಚಾಹತ್ ಕಿ ಮೊಹಬ್ಬತ್ ಕಿ ಸಾರಿ ದುನಿಯಾ ಮೇ ಕಿ ಜುಬಾ ಹೈ ಸಿನಿಯೋರಿತಾ ಮುಚ್ ಸೇ ಅಬ್ ನಜರ್ ನ ಫೇರೋ ಆಓ ಪಾಸ ತುಮ್ ಮೇರೇ ಮುಚ್ ಕೋ ಬಾಹು ಮೇ ತುಮ್ ಘೇರೋ ಸಮಝೀನಾ ಸಿನಿಯೋರಿತಾ ಚಾಹತ್ ಕೆ ದೋ ಪಲ್ ಬಿ ಮಿಲ್ ಪಾಯೆ ದುನಿಯಾ ಮೇ ಯೇ ಬಿ ಕಮ ಹೈ ಕ್ಯಾ ಹರ್ ಪಲ್ ತುಮನೆ ದಿಲ್ ಜೀತಾ ಬಸ್ ಇತನಿ ಕೇದಾತ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ದೆ ಮಿ ಮುಚ್ಕೋ ಪಾಹು ಮೇ ತುಮ ಘೇರೋ ಸಮಝೀನಾ ಸಿನಿಯೋರಿತಾ ಚಾಹತ್ ಕೆ ದೋ ಪಲ್ ಬಿ ಮಿಲ್ ಪಾಯೆ ದುನಿಯಾ ಮೇ ಯೇ ಬಿ ಕಮ ಹೈ ಕ್ಯಾ ದೋ ಪಲ್ ಕೋ ತೋ ಆಹೋ ಕೋ ಜಾಯೆ ಬುಲೆ ಹಮ ಹೋತಾ ಗಮ ಹೈ ಕ್ಯಾ ಮಹೇ ಕ್ಯಾ
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And this song is dedicated to all the wonderful darlings of Radiant, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing, amazing Radiant Wellness Conclave, which is so fantastic today. And I have, you know, I missed many of the sessions, but I did meet up with the people like Revati and Barkhadat and everybody. And just, just want um, favors here as well. I was sad that I couldn't meet up with everybody and I'm sad that they weren't here. But hey, what a fantastic audience you are. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. So for all the darlings, here's my last song, ladies and gentlemen, for all of you. Oh no. See, they don't even know the language. Ben. खादिम को दिल पे तो इख्तियार करने दो डार्लिंग आंखों से आंखें चार करने दो रखना रखना मुझको प्यार करने दो This is my la this is my uh, lover partner from there. Yeah. <laughs> He's been singing and dancing so fantastically. Let's have a big, big hand. Yeah. I have to ask if you have KTG. 
ओके यू नो वॉट इज के टी जी काली तेरी गुत कैन यू इमेजिन वेर यू फ्रॉम पंजाब दैट्स द बेस्ट वे टू बी कहीं के भी हो भारतीय हैं और क्या जो कुछ भी हो जाए हम ये कहेंगे हम एक थे एक हैं एक हमेशा रहेंगे भारतीय इंडियन हिंदुस्तानी राइट सो इट इज फैंटास्टिक दैट वी आर ऑल टुगेदर एंड दीज वंडरफुल गर्ल्स लेडीज यू आर सच हॉट डांसर्स वाओ Then this one, worry, Bob. Where are you from? There are two. No, I thought maybe Assam, Assam. To Dikhi Murga, can okay? Oh, this Kali. KTG Are we ready for KTG Unless you really dance Aa jaiye samne aa jaiye taaki Acha abhi shuru ho raha hai aapka ja आपका शाम अभी शुरू हो रहा है दिन अभी शुरू हो गया ओके यू यू क्लासिक्स आई एम सो सॉरी क्या करें आपको कहाँ गए आप काली तेरी नहीं है आई एम सॉरी मुझे माफ कीजिएगा सच्ची के टी जी नहीं है हमारे पास यू गॉट लॉन्ग गवा चा यू गॉट समरीश ओके लॉन्ग गवाचा चलेगा वो भी पंजाबी है आ जाइए मैदान में आ जाइए नाचिए लेडीज यू हैव टू बी रियली फैंटास्टिक इन दिस ओके लॉन्ग ओके यस एक्चुअली नन ऑफ दीज व प्लान बिकॉज वी गॉट अ ब्रीफ फ्रॉम राइट रेणुका दे हु यू हैव टू एडमिट इसके बगैर कुछ नहीं होता तो इफ यू हैव टू पे सम फाइन मिल पे इट नो यू नेवर नो इफ देर सम स्लाई वन सिट पीछे 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 मेरे मेरे आए आए पैर आए मेरे चाल आए पीछे पीछे आंदा मेरे पैड भी आए जीरे वाली वेखदा आई वह कि मेरा लौंग बाचा मार आई वह कि मेरा लौंग बाचा पीछे पीछे आंदा मेरे चाल भी आए पीछे पीछे आंदा मेरे पैड भी आए जीरे वाली वेखदा आई वह कि मेरा लौंग बाचा निगा मार निगा निगा मार आई वह कि मेरा लौंग बाचा पीछे पीछे आना मेरे चाल भी आए पीछे पीछे आना मेरे पैर भी आए चेरे वाली वेखदा आई वह कि मेरा लौंग
ਦੇ ਬਹਾਨੇ ਦੇ ਮਿਲਣਾ ਹੈ ਮਿਲਣੇ ਤੇ ਰੁਸ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਸਤਾ ਲਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਾ ਦੱਸ ਕਰ ਕੇ ਬਣਾਈ ਦੇ ਕਿ ਮੇਰਾ ਲੌਂਗਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਜਾ ਮਾਰਦਾ ਆਈ ਦੇ ਕਿ ਮੇਰਾ ਲੌਂਗਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਚਾਲ ਵੀ ਨਾ ਆਈ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਪੈੜ ਵੀ ਨਾ ਆਈ ਸਿਰੇ ਵਾਲੀਆਂ ਵੇਖਦਾ ਆਈ ਦੇ ਕਿ ਮੇਰਾ ਲੌਂਗਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਮਾਰਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਗੱਤਿਕਾ ਮਾਰਦਾ ਆਈ ਦੇ ਕਿ ਮੇਰਾ ਲੌਂਗਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਚਾਲ ਵੀ ਦਾਏ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਪੈੜ ਵੀ ਦਾਏ ਸਿਰੇ ਵਾਲੀਆਂ ਵੇਖਦਾ ਆਈ ਦੇ ਕਿ ਮੇਰਾ ਲੌਂਗਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਇੱਕਾ ਮਾਰਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਗੱਤਿਕਾ ਮਾਰਦਾ ਆਈ ਦੇ ਕਿ ਮੇਰਾ ਲੌਂਗਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਹੈ ਮੇਰਾ ਲੌਂਗਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਹੈ ਮੇਰਾ ਲੌਂਗਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਆਹ ਵੇ ਹੂ ਯੂ ਬਰਕਾ ਆਈ ਲਵ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਲੁਕ ਲੁਕ ਐਬਸੋਲਿਊਟਲੀ ਫੈਂਟਾਸਟਿਕ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਵਰ ਹੀਅਰ ਵੀ ਹੈਡ ਅ ਲਵਲੀ ਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਵਿਸ਼ਡ ਐਂਡ ਵਿਸ਼ਡ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਟੁਕ ਯੂਰ ਨੇਮ ਆਲਸੋ ਆਈ ਲਵ ਯੂ ਲੇਡੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਜੈਂਟਲਮੈਨ ਇਟਸ ਬੀਨ ਐਬਸੋਲਿਊਟਲੀ ਬ੍ਰਿਲੀਅੰਟ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਯੂ ਹੀਅਰ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਐਂਡ ਟੂ ਥੀਸ ਡਾਇਨਾਮਿਕ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੂ ਬ੍ਰੋਟ ਥਿਸ ਅਮੇਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਦ 6th ਐਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਰਾਈਟ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਆਸ ਲਾਰਜੈਸਟ ਵੈਲਨੈਸ ਇਵੈਂਟ ਰੇਡੀਅੰਟ wellness thank you so much for having me here and it's thank you for all the questions as well and wonderful things that you said mai bahut mai bahut gussa hu mujhe bahut gussa hai aap uth ke dance bhi nahi kiye ek baar aapki wife unhone kaha nahi she will never say that she wanted you to dance she's uh, yeah she's wonderful but thank you so much it's been really wonderful all of you and thank you for the lifetime achievement award as well request dr renuka to join ms usha utap and uh, walk her off the stage thank and you also, so much ma'am